Hello viewers, do you still remember some of the rules of indices or some of the rules of powers? So if you remember the rules of the powers, then I believe you can work out this one in the shortest time possible. So if you don't remember the rules, don't ever, don't worry, this video is for you. So you want to work out this one in the shortest time possible. So it is not only this sum that is there, we have three more. So don't go away, let's watch them up to the end. So let's start. So we have 3 to power 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. So before I proceed, let me introduce myself. I am teacher John. I've been teaching maths in high school for a very long time. So let us work out this. So I hope you've worked it out. So let's now give it the solution very fast. Remember we have three of them. So we have 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. Now we all know that 3 to the power of 2 uh, this the, the the three and two these ones are bases and two and two these ones are powers so as you can see the three base three and base two they're different so you cannot apply the rules of powers directly so what we're going to do we're just going to multiply three by two so three to the power of two so we know we all know that three to the power of two is equals to three multiplied by three then uh, here with three multiplied by three we shall get the answer as 9. So let's work out this one. 2 to power 2. So we all know that 2 to the power of 2, this one is equals to 2 multiplied by 2. And what is 2 multiplied by 2? So 2 multiplied by 2, the answer is 4. So uh, 3 to power 2, we've got as 9. Then 2 to power 2, we've got as 4. So what we need to do is to combine the 2. So here now we shall have 9 multiplied by 4. And what is 9 multiplied by 4? We shall get the answer as 36. So once we get the answer as 36, we need to confirm or convert this 36 to the power. So we all know that as 36, so 36 is equals to 6 multiplied by 6. So uh, 6 times 6 is 30, 36. So how many 6 do I have here? I have 2. 1, 2. So meaning that 36 here, so 36 is equals to 6 to the power of 6 to the power of 2. So if you got it as 6 to the power of 2, you've done the correct thing and indeed thumbs up. So let's move to the second one very very fast within the shortest time possible. So this one is what we have. We have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equals to 54. So let's move to the solution. So our solution is this one. So 3 to the power of x then plus 3 to the power of x is equals to 54. As you can check, 3, 3 is at the basis. This is a base. This one is a base. Now uh, we, we need to change 54 to the base of 3. Actually, there is no number that you can move straight to 54. So what we need to do, we just need to work it out this way. This multiplication will come to, will come to our, uh, 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 this, this addition will come to multiplication. So here now we shall have, we, sh we can have 3 multiplied by x, three, sorry, 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x, which is equals to 54. So once we find it that way, so 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x can also be written as 3. So it can also be written as 2 into the bracket 3 to the power of x, which is equals to 54. So it's the same same thing that I've written. So meaning that we are multiplying 3 to the power of x twice. So our next we shall be these two, we shall divide both sides by 2. So that's remaining with 3 to the power of x. So meaning that this one divided by 2, here divide by 2. So that now when we cancel, we get that 3 to the power of x is equals to 27. So once we get 3 to the power of x equals to 27, we need to change uh, 27 to the base of 3. So meaning that 27 can also be worked out like when we have 3 multiplied by 3 we shall have 9 then 9 multiplied by 3 we shall have 27 so meaning that 27 when you change into a power we shall have 3 to the power of 1 to 3 to the power of 3 so meaning that 3 3 
to the power of 3 to the power of x is equals to we just pick the 3 to the power of 3 they are 3 to the power of 3 so when you work out this one now we shall get it this way so let us only pick the powers we shall have x is equals to is equals to 3 so if you got x is equals to 3 thumbs up you did it well and that means that you still remember the the powers let's work out the last one within the shortest time possible so this one is the last one so this one is what we have so 4 over 5 to the power of x is equals to 25 over 16 so we have 4 we have 4 over 5 then this one to the power of x is equals to 25 over 16 so how do you go about this one so we need to take our time and check what you're supposed to do so since x is in the form of this power so we need to also change 25 over 16 to its own power so that to mean that uh, 4 over 5 so this 4 over 5 to the power of x is equals to okay so when we work out this one or when you simplify 25 over 16 let's pick uh, uh, for example this 25 we shall have 5 multiplied by 5 so meaning that that one 25 we shall have 5 all over 16 we shall have 4 multiplied by 4 meaning that now we shall have 4 so when we change them to the powers we have 1 2 so meaning that there shall also be all of them shall be to the power of 2 so let's not only pick the powers since now we have simplified them so now we shall say that now x our x now is equals to is equals to 2 because now we've only picked the powers so if you get the answers x equals to 2 thumbs up you've done it in the correct way so let's stop there if you've not subscribed to the video please subscribe if you like the video uh, i much appreciate that and also please remember to share the video so that others can also get the knowledge so let's stop there see in the next video thanks for watching